Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Heijun from Hanshi. Today I'm going to be reviewing eight different must-know Korean particles in order for you to construct Korean sentences. Before I go over particles, I just want to introduce you the basic sentence structure of Korean. Unlike English sentences, where subject comes first, then the verb and the object, Korean sentence is subject, object, then a verb. Sometimes when the subject is redundant, you can omit them as well. And that goes the same for the object particles as well. Sometimes it could be omitted. The first one is the subject particles, e ka. e is used after a consonant, ka is used after a vowel, and there are four main functions of this particle. The first function is emphasis. It's focusing on a specific thing or a person. For example, when your mother asks you, who cleaned? Who cleaned the house? Then when you say, I did. So you have other siblings, but among them, you're the one who cleaned. So, 제가 청소했어요. I cleaned. Or as another example, among your group of people, your friend Steve is the birthday boy. Then you say, Steve's 생일이 오늘이에요. Among all of your friends, it's Steve's birthday today. The second function is predicate. Predicate explains what the subject does in a sentence. So for example, 카페가 도서관에 있어요. Cafe is in the library. So in this case, your subject is cafe. And you are describing where the cafe is. Or as another example, 사람이 움직여요. People are moving. And the third function is giving a new information. For example, when someone asks you, 동생이 있어요? Do you have any younger siblings? You could say, 여동생이 있어요. I have a younger sister. And this is a new information that you're giving to your listener. Or for instance, someone could ask you, what color do you like? 무슨 색깔이 좋아요? Then your answer could be, 파란색이 좋아요. I like the color blue. And the last function is asking general WH questions, such as, what is your name? 이름이 뭐예요? Or, where is the restaurant? 식당이 어디예요? Or, when is the class? 수업이 언제예요? This could work too. Which food is good? 어떤 음식이 맛있어요? The next particle is topic particle, 은는. 은는 also has four different functions. The first one is identifying. Noun 1 equals noun 2. For example, 저는 유튜버예요. I am a YouTuber. Or, 저는 해준이에요. 저는 your name, 이에요. The second function is contrast. This is the most important function of 은는. For example, 이 수업은 어려워요. This class is difficult. That implies your other classes are not as difficult, but this class that you're talking about is difficult compared to other classes. Or I'll give you an example of a conversation of a girl and a boy. A boy could ask, 영화 봐요. Let's watch a movie. And the girl could say, 오늘은 바빠요. I'm busy today. Which implies, I don't know about any other days, but compared to those days, today, I'm busy. Then the boy says, 내일은 어때요? How about tomorrow? 내일은, because today, you can't, okay. Then compared to today, how about tomorrow? 내일은 어때요? Then the girl could say, 내일은 좋아요. Tomorrow is good. And the third function is when you're changing a subject. For example, you're talking to your friend about what to eat for dinner. 뭐 먹을까요? Then you suddenly realize your friend Steve is still not here. Then you could say, 근데 스티브는 어디 있어요? So you were talking about what to eat, but you're suddenly changing the topic to where Steve is. And lastly, when you're using as for. 
For example, 저는 학생이 아니에요. As for me, I am not a student. Or you could say, 친구는 매운 음식을 좋아해요. As for my friend, my friend likes spicy food. And with the subject and topic particles, one thing you also need to remember is 나, 너, 저. You use that with topic particle. But when you're using 내, 제, 내, which has the same pronunciation of 내, my, 내's, yours, um, those are used with subject particles 이, 가. Next up is object particle 을, 를. This is pretty self-explanatory once you know how to find object of the sentence. 을 comes after a consonant, 를 comes after a vowel. So this particle basically marks the object of the verb. So what do I mean by object particle marking the object of the verb? So let's say the verb in the sentence is to like. 좋아하다. So the object particle gets attached to the question to like what? For example, you like a pie. 파이를 좋아해요. Someone likes pie. And the following particle, 에, is a locative particle used with a location and it's also a time particle. For example, 어디 가세요? Where are you going? 집에 가요. I'm going to my house. 에 is usually used with 있다, 없다, 가다, 오다, and 다니다. 다니다 means to go back and forth. So this word is used usually when you are frequently going to that specific location. So for example, 대학교에 다녀요. I go to college. But in Korean, by saying 다녀요, you're implying that you go back and forth your college, your university, often. But you have to remember particle A is a static, locative particle. For example, 친구는 어디 있어요? 도서관에 있어요. Meaning the action taken within the location has to be steady and stable. And as a time particle, it could be used as 1시에 친구를 만나요. I'm meeting up with my friend at 1 o'clock. Or, 아침에 공부해요. I study in the morning. Or, 금요일에 만나요. Meet me on Friday. This could work too. 하루에 한번 드라마를 봐요. I watch drama once in a day. And the reason why you have to memorize 에 is a static locative particle is because there is 에서, a similar particle to 에. 에서 is also a locative particle, but in this case, this is a dynamic locative particle, which means 에서 is used with action verbs. For example, 친구는 뭐 해요? What is your friend doing? 도서관에서 공부해요. She's not just staying still, but she's studying. She could be reviewing notes, going on her computer, or writing essays. It's dynamic active, lively, so 에서, 도서관에서 공부해요. Or 어디에서 커피를 마셔요? 커피를 마시다, to drink coffee. It's not a verb that is just staying still. So it's some kind of an action verb. Therefore you use 에서, 어디에서 커피를 마셔요? 스타벅스에서 커피를 마셔요. But one another thing you need to remember is with the verb 살다, it's either a static or dynamic. Therefore, you can use 에 and 에서. 한국에 살아요. Or 한국에서 살아요. They're both acceptable. 에서 also means from. So, from A to B. For example, 학교에서 집까지 멀어요. Is it far from your school to your house? Or you could use it as 1시에서 2시까지 공부해요. I study from 1 to 2 o'clock. Next particle is 도. It means also or to. And for this particle, you do not have to differentiate between consonant and vowel. Let's say among your friend, you guys are discussing what to have for dinner. And one of your friends says, 
저는 치킨 먹고 싶어요. And your other friend says, 저는 피자 먹고 싶어요. And when you also want to eat pizza, you say, 저도 피자 먹고 싶어요. I also want to eat pizza. And now, particle 만. It means only. You can use it as, 저만 학생이에요. I am the only student. 물만 마셨어요. I only drank water. And the last particle is possessive particle 의. In English, this is an apostrophe s or of. For example, 친구의 여동생이 왔어요. My friend's sister came. Or 이건 사랑의 힘이에요. This is a power of love. And when this particle 의 is attached to 저 or 나, then 저의 becomes 제, 나의 becomes 내. 제 is a formal way of saying my, and 내 is a informal way of saying my. So those were eight different particles that you must know in order to create correct Korean sentences. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. If you thought this video was helpful, please press like and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Annyeong!